start off by saying Barak Teyahawa, Bashem Yahushai, Bashem Racha, Kodash. Listen up. Any of you guys out there that have a problem with the order, you have a problem with the way things are running, you have a problem with your camp leader, you don't want to follow orders, you don't want to follow uh, the guidelines that are set through the spirit and power of Yahweh by the, by the uh, men that are established, you can leave, okay? You don't have to be here, all right? You could just leave. You know, you won't be missed. You, you are emotional twats out there. You know, you, you are, uh, you faggots, you know, that got a problem with order. You'll take orders from your boss. You know, you'll take orders from your woman. You'll take orders, if you was in the military, you take orders in the military. You know, you take orders from the police or whatever. But when it comes to men, spiritual men, you don't want to take the order, you can leave. And you won't be missed. All right? This is serious business, serious times we're coming into. We have no time for no dudes that's bullshitting. We have no time for guys that, that are emotional because they're told to do something and they don't want to do it. Just leave. What, you, what are you here for? What are you waiting to get kicked out so you can have an excuse to be a scoffer? Just leave. If you don't want to be here, just leave. You're not going to be held hostage. This is not a cult. You can leave at any time you want. As, as what they deem to be a cult. You, you don't have to be here. All right? Just leave. 1 Corinthians 14 and 40. Let all things be done decently and in order. There's an order in this thing. And if you can't deal with the order, bounce. Going all the way back to the time of Moses, the Lord set up leaders to guide over the people, watch over the people, to give them counsel. And all throughout the scriptures, you always had a, a, a higher a, a, a up men that, that were set up as leaders and governors of, of the people. It's no different today. And that's the problem with a lot of you guys out here, you, you, uh, you, you so-called Israelites. Because you're not acting like Israelites. You know, you fuck, especially you men. You act like a bunch of goddamn bitches, man. You act worse than a goddamn woman, man. Uh, 1 Corinthians 11 and 1. Be ye followers of me, even as I also am of Yahweh Shai. This is the Apostle Paul speaking. And if the Apostle Paul gave an order which he was given orders, some people got emotional, some people left. You could leave too. Because there were men that were following Paul back then that left. And guess what? Some of them, Paul just said, well, they left me. Some of them Paul put curses on because they were being demons. All right? So any of you guys out there that got a problem with the order, you got a problem with your camp leader, you know, you got a problem with, you know, as long as the camp leader is, is, is a, a righteous camp leader, you know, you got a problem with the way things are going, just leave. All right, Shalom. I want to start off by giving all praises to Yahweh Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashem, Rakak Wadash. Double honors to the apostles and elders at Great Millstone, and peace and blessings to the elect. So, Yatazak, Great Millstone, Dallas camp, man. And I just want to respond to the elders' video, you know. And uh, the he's absolutely right, man. You know, when 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 Jake didn't want to go to church no more, they just stopped going. You know, when Jake don't want to do anything else, man, they just stop doing it. You know, they don't ask. They don't make no announcement. You know what I'm saying? But then when it comes to this, when it comes to this truth, when it comes to this truth and order, then that's the one, that's, that's where Jake want to run to, man. You know what I'm saying? Like the apostle said, man, just leave, man. Just leave. Paul talked about being a prisoner of Yahweh Shai, man. He stressed that, man, being a prisoner of Yahweh Shai. I got a couple precepts I want to get, man. You know, I got to make it quick, you know. And this is uh, John 10 and 26. It says, but ye believe not because ye are not of, of uh, ye are not of my sheep, as I said unto you. It says, my sheep hear my voice and I know them and they follow me, man. That's what I'm saying. Y'all want to try to blame the apostles for telling us, trying to blame it on the apostles for telling us to do the work. No, that's the Lord telling you to do the work, man. The Lord had a three year ministry, man. You think he was bullshitting during that three years, man? Absolutely not, man. 
Absolutely not, man. If we had to end this thing according to prophecy, man, you're supposed to push. It's just that simple. It's just that simple. Oh, you, you can't put no number on the spirit. You can't tell me how many videos I need to do. Hey, let me tell you something, man. Either you on fire for this thing or you not, man. If you if you counting videos, if you counting videos, you obviously missed the point. The point is to do the work, man, to the best of your ability, man. You can't blame the apostles for pushing order, man. The scriptures push order. The scripture shows you that it's levels of, of, of this thing, man. Did not Paul, did not Paul go to the elders to make sure he had it right to see how to move forward with the believers of Yahweh Shai? And then the, 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 the apostles came up and they said, hey, well, tell them don't do this, don't do this, don't do that. They came up at the council with the right information, man. They said, okay, well, this is what we're going to do. Paul didn't just wing it. Paul didn't just go out and do what he wanted to do, man, because he understood the order, man. He pushed the order. It says, and I give them and I give unto them eternal life and they shall never perish. Neither shall any man pluck them out of my hand. That's what I'm saying. Look, if you're going to walk away from the hand of Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, then nobody got to pluck you out. According to prophecy, we at the end of this story, man. Why not push? Why not push? And if you don't want to push, bounce. Ain't nobody put no pistol up to your head and say, stay great millstone or die. Ain't nobody did that to you. Just go. Just go. But it's something, it's something that's letting y'all know. It's something that's letting y'all know, man. You know? And that demon that jumped on your ass to make you say, well, I ain't got to do what they say. And I ain't got to do this. And I ain't got to do that. Okay. Well, hey, feed your damn demon and get the fuck out, man. Straight up. You know what I'm saying? Matter of fact, prisoner. Yeah. Yeah, man. I was say we prisoners of Yahweh Shai, man. I'd rather be a prisoner of Yahweh Shai. I'd rather be a prisoner of Yahweh Shai than a prisoner of the devil. You know what I'm saying? Straight up, man. Yeah, Ephesians 3 and 1, man. It says, uh, it says, for this cause, I, Paul, the prisoner of Hamashiach, for you, the Gentiles, man. Let's look up that word prisoner, and then I'm going to go ahead and get out of here, man. I'm, I'll say I'm, on a, I'm on a break, so I just wanted to make this quick, man. But that's what I'm saying. Jake be acting like somebody else. No, how about Shem Yahweh Shai is holding you hostage for your own benefit, man. Say bound in bonds, captive, a prisoner. You see? A prisoner. Be in bonds. You know what I'm saying? You being in bonds to this truth and to this work, man. You know what I'm saying? Being a prisoner to your how shot takes you out of the world. Taking you out of the world makes you meet for repentance. You see how all these things come together? But Jake's so caught up in their own madness, man. They talking about what they ain't gonna do. But, hey, you shipwrecking your own salvation, bro. Just go. What you hanging around for? You know what I'm saying? I'm pretty sure you can find somebody in the world that can barbecue or that can cook. You know what I'm saying? Hey, you know what? Maybe you find somebody else who will pool all their money together and help you with your bills. How about that? You know? It ain't about you, man. It ain't about no certain individual, man. Look, the spirit is to push. Obviously, if you see what's going on in the world, you know that you got to do something. You just going to sit around and wait for the missiles? What you going to do? Just do, just do the work. If you don't, that's what I'm saying. You, if you don't want to do the work, ain't nobody putting no pencil to your head, bro. Nobody. Like, you, like the apostle said, you ain't going to be missed. Ain't nobody going to miss you. Ain't like you going to miss us. You the one want to leave. You the one looking for a cop out. You the one that's ready to roll. Man, look. <laughs> hey man, I'm gonna say this, man. I'm gonna say this, man. Do the work, man. Straight up. Straight up, straight up. If you want to be delivered, if you love your family as much as you say you do, if you want to get the hell out of Babylon, all these complaints, do the work. Do the work, man. You know what I'm saying? 
We all going to get the same penny, man, but we all got to work. Don't matter how long you've been working, but you're going to work. You're going to have to work. That's what I'm saying, man. Ain't no, ain't no free chariot spots out there, homie. You can't, you can't rent a chariot spot. You can't come up on a chariot spot. Nah, man. You got to work for it. You see? So like the apostles and elders say, man, if you don't want to work, man, go on. Go on. If you don't want to work, quit. Every job you've never had in your life that you got tired of, you quit. This ain't no different. No different. You see? Yeah, man. I would say we, we, we prisoners, man. Prisoners of hope. You know what I'm saying? In, in this prison of hope, we're going to have to work to get out of it. Period, point blank. And with that, I want to give all praises to Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem, Rakakwadash, double honors to the apostles and elders at uh, Great Millstone, the only elders out there who give a damn about the flock through the Spirit. And peace and blessings to the elect. Shalom. Keep fighting, Akim. Fuck with these people talking about, man. If they want to leave, get the hell on.